Hey, first grade friends, let's get ready for foundations. The materials you're going to need at home are index cards, a red crayon, your notebook, and a pencil. If you're in school, you need your index cards, a red crayon, a dry erase board, a marker, and a tile board. Today's objective is I can identify closed syllable words. Let's get our index cards and our red crayon and write our first new trick word of the week. This week is say. And our next trick word is says. Notice how it's spelled very similarly, but it's pronounced differently. These are why it's trick words, and it's important to know them by heart. So say and says. How can you use the word say or says in a sentence? Please talk it over with your teacher or your parent. Now let's get ready to echo. Remember, when you see echo the owl, you repeat after me. A, apple, a. B, bat, b. C, cat, k. D, dog, d. E, ed, e. F, fun, G, game, g. H, hat, h. I, itch, i. J, jug, j. K, kite, k. L, lamp, l. M, man, m. N, nut, n. O, octopus, a. Ah. P, pan, p. Q, u, queen, qu. R, rat, er. S, snake, s. T, top, t. U, up, a. Uh. V, van, v. W, wind, w. X, fox, x. Y, yellow, y. Z, zebra, z. W, H, whistle, w. C, H, chin, ch. S, H, ship, sh. T, H, thumb, C K sock K. A L L ball all A M ham am A N fan an S bugs z A N G fang ang I-N-G, ring, ing. O-N-G, song, ong. U-N-G, lung, ung. A-N-K, bank, ank. I-N-K, pink, ink. O-N-K, honk, unk. U N K junk unk A R car R O R horn or I R bird er E 
R, her, er. You are burn, er. Great job. Now you're going to pause the video and stretch all your vowel sounds out. What is a syllable? A syllable is a part of a word that can be pushed out in one breath. So when we say words, sometimes we give a little pause, and that means we have more than one syllable in a word. So, for example, this word has one syllable. This is a cat. We can say the word cat in one breath. We don't have to breathe when we say it. Now this word has two syllables. This is cat nip. Notice how I took a little bit of a pause in between the cat and the nip. That means when I take that pause, when I take a breath, then I have another syllable in the word. So there are different types of syllables. We are going to be learning about closed syllables. A closed syllable only has one vowel, and that vowel sound is usually short, like a, ah, e, eh, i, a, ah, and a. Uh. And the vowel is followed by one or more consonants, so it's closed in. Think about a closed door. There is a consonant usually on the end, which closes the vowel in. So closed syllables have one vowel only. They're closed in at the end by one or more consonants. One example of a closed syllable is bat. The T closes the syllable at the end. And the short vowel in this closed syllable is apple. Bat. It has a consonant here and a consonant here, closing the vowel in the middle. Another example of a closed syllable is bath. The th sound closes the syllable at the end. The vowel in the closed syllable has a short ah sound, bath. So if we're looking at these words, which syllables are closed? Remember, closed syllables have one vowel and one or more consonants after it. Now, remember, the, sh the vowels in a closed syllable are short. So if we're saying the word boat, the O-A in boat is actually a long vowel. It actually makes O say its own name, boat. So this is not a closed vowel set word because the O is long. But if we have the word it, it is closed at the end with the consonant T. So this would be a closed syllable word. Now looking at such, this is also a closed syllable word because we have the CH at the end closing in the short uh sound. And the last word, she, sh, e, there's no consonant at the end closing it in. And that e makes a long e sound. So it is not a closed syllable. So you can see here, boat, no, it's not closed. It is closed, such is closed, and the word she is not closed. So when we mark, Closed syllable words, it looks very similar to when we were marking short vowel sounds. It has that brev on top, the, that smile. See, think of the brev as that short little smile, like I always told you, put the smile on top. And then what we do is that we are going to scoop the word to show that it's a closed syllable. We scoop it, and then we're going to write the letter C underneath to show it's closed. So this is our short vowel sound review. We've been stretching out our sounds. A, apple, e, ed, i, itch, o, octopus, and u, up. A, e, i, 
ah, and uh. These are all short vowel sounds. So we are going to practice building some words together. So if you are at home, you can get out a notebook and you can write the words in your notebook. If you're in school, you can break out your tile boards. So I'm going to say the word in the sentence. Then I'm going to say the word. Then I would like you to echo the word. Then write it or build the word. Ready? Birds travel together in a flock. Flock. You can pause the video as you write or build the word. This is what flock looks like. Okay, let's go to the next line or put the tiles back to build another word. Can you snap your fingers? Snap. This is the word snap. Do you see a blend in this word? Right, we do have a blend, S-N. And do you think this has a closed syllable? Yes, it does. The at is short and it's followed by a consonant. Next word, a compass points north, south, east, and west, west. This is the word west. We see the blend as T and we have a short E. So this would actually be a closed syllable word. Let's clear our boards. New word. A long time ago, people thought the earth was flat, flat. This is the word flat. We have the blend FL and the A is short A, A, and it's followed by a consonant. So this would be a closed syllable word. Now you're going to try this all on your own. Have a wonderful day.